Beth Webb here for Enemy, and I'm here with Nell Tiger Free and Rupert Grint, who are the stars of Servants. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. You're both British. <laughs> we are. Yes. And have these seamless, amazing American accents. I was wondering, though, if there were any phrases or words that you had on set that you found really, really difficult. I know yeah, yours. I, I struck. Well, yeah, you know mine. I, uh, aunt is tricky because there's two ways of doing it. Floorboard. Floorboards. Plug. That's a double R. Oh, There's a double R. Yeah. <laughs> and the plug was fine. The plug was fine. Um, <clears throat> no, but it, it does. You think, because everyone can do like an American accent, um, but like there are some words that really do. Tr- and it, I had like a voice coach who taught me all about this the mechanics of actually what your tongue does, and it's like it's very intense, but it's <laughs> very interesting as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's fun. It's another layer as well. I, I kind of really enjoy kind of putting on an accent, it's fun. Tell me about this amazing house that you were in. I understand it was custom built for the show, is that right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what was it like being there? How functional was it? And like, how much time did you spend there? Um, we spent all of our time there, <laughs> but it was fully functional. Like, I mean, Toby would cook in the kitchen and, you know, we'd sit and have breakfast in the kitchen and, yeah, I mean, it was fully functional. So it's a, it's a sound stage, so it's a set, and it's, you know, three separate floors, but you can walk into a room via another room, and, you know, it just feels so authentic and so real. And, I mean, we filmed the entire show, bar maybe two days, we filmed the entire show in that house. So it does get claustrophobic after a while, but uh, I think we got to know that house incredibly well. And then how versed were you with um, M. Night Shyamalan prior to coming to this? Did you have a favourite film? Did you, had you seen any of his films before you came mm. on board? Yeah, no, I was a huge fan. I think he, particularly in this genre, he's the kind of master and he's just such a, a good storyteller and I, I've always been a fan of his. And it's just amazing to kind of see him work. He's, 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 his de- level of detail is, is so meticulous and so precise. And you just feel like very safe in his hands and I think all the way up through the series he directed the first one and uh, and another one but he uh, he was always there kind of really looking after it and it was it was a great experience he was it was amazing and then how privy were you because of the the gift of this show is you really it kind of unspools you don't really see where it's going until you're there like how privy were you to your kind of narratives and your journeys prior to coming onto the project uh, not a lot I mean we had up to uh, eight episodes, was it? Yeah, eight or nine. Yeah, no, no, we were up to nine. Um, we didn't get the tenth script until kind of a few days before we shot it, so there was a lot of mystery surrounding the story. And actually, I kind of like that, that we didn't know everything. We kind of knew just what the characters knew, in a way. Yeah, we didn't get um, episode ten until right up to when we were shooting it, and even while we were shooting it, it kept changing, and it kept changing so much that you don't even know how it actually properly ends, do you? No, I don't know how this... Seriously. He doesn't probably know. Did, did it go how you'd expected without giving anything away? Were you as surprised as, as viewers will be as to how it went? Yeah, I think so. I don't think that there's any any way you can predict what's going to happen at the end of, of, of season one. Like, there's just no... Because it's, it's such a strange story. It's such a new story that, I mean, it's not, it's not, like, it's not like a classic... Um, it's not like a classic thing that you can predict or think is going to happen because we've never really seen a story quite like it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think people are going to be uh, surprised and hopefully intrigued to come back for season two. Do so you feel quite powerful knowing what happens to Rufus' character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows what happens to his character because he's shot it, <laughs> but you know what happens to your well, character. Yeah, no, I do. I, don't, but, I question uh, everything. I don't know. Oh, yeah. what I know. <laughs> but I do know the end and he doesn't, so... Very powerful. <laughs> and then just finally, um, what is the most important thing that you're hoping people will take away from this series? I'm just kind of got excited to to uh, hear people's kind of theories and really kind of, I think that's what I love about how it's it's got a lot of time to breathe in between every episode so you can kind of let it fester and talk about it. And it's interesting because you can, you, you instantly, and when I was reading it, you could, you put yourself in that situation and you think, what would, what would I do? And it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting concept. How about yourself now? Um, I think we just want you to enjoy yourself and hopefully we just want you to like it. (laughs) (laughs) Just please like us. We've got season two, so we like you already, even after an easy episode, which is great. Are you in? Are you excited for the next one? Are you ready to go? Yeah, we're so excited. So excited. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.